Thanks everybody for being here today. My name is Jim Hawk. I'm the founder of Gateway Pundit. Uh, back in 2004, we were a little blog um, we started uh, that I started uh, out of reaction of the liberal media um, and that I was disgusted with what I was reading in the media. So I started Little Gateway Pundit. I had two readers at the time, my twin brother and an engineer friend of mine. Um, today, we're uh, within the past couple of weeks, we've been averaging nearly a million readers of page views a day. So we've grown quite a bit. During the uh, election of 2016, we were one of the early websites to jump on the Trump train. Um, we supported Donald Trump. I, we were open about that. We didn't disguise it. I, we were one of the few websites that actually supported Trump, which is uh, quite shocking at the time. And uh, through the election, uh, there were a few of us. Uh, Drug Report was big on uh, Donald Trump, so was I, Pamela Geller's site, the Geller Report. Um, so was uh, Infowars and uh, Zero Hedge and Conservative Treehouse and Breitbart. And what we found after the election was that a small group of reporters and a few websites, what we were able to do was the studies, as Lucian mentioned in the, in the opening, uh, Harvard did a study and Columbia Journalism Review did a study and they found that on the conservative side of news, for people who are conservative in America, the winning side, by the way, they went online to get their news. If you looked at the size of influence on the conservative side, it was Breitbart, which was hugely impactful. Fox News was number two. The Hill, which is plays both sides, was number three. And Gateway Pundit, this small little blog, was number four in influence. That tells you, um, and I, I wanna emphasize this, it tells you that conservatives today in America have finally, after years of abuse, after decades of abuse, they have turned away from the mainstream media. They've had enough of this disgusting um, uh, bias that they report. They've had enough of them omitting stories, refusing to, to report stories, and so they went other places to get their news. I was in a conference in Prague, uh, uh, Czech Republic, in 2007, and George Bush spoke to a bunch of distance from all these countries. It was at the Voice of America headquarters in Prague. And what I found and what they told me at the time was when the Soviet Union was uh, around, and of course we knew it collapsed, um, but when the Soviet Union was around and all of their satellite countries, the people there would, would listen, they wanted the, to get the truth. They knew they weren't getting the truth from their establishment media, so they went to find Voice of America, and eventually the government would shut that channel down. So Voice of America and Liberty Free Europe would have to change channels. And the people always found the channels because people want to hear the truth. And so what happened in 2016 was that people went to different sources, different media outlets to find the truth. And uh, so since the election, George Soros actually funded one of these studies at Harvard, I believe it was. Um, his his uh, Open Society funded that story, or that report, and then Columbia Journalism Review, probably the most uh, esteemed journalism school in, in America, they both put out similar reports. The left is still going to the mainstream media to get their facts. The right is going other places. Since the election, we they're cracking down on us. They know who, where the influence is, and I wish that Republican lawmakers knew where the influence is coming, who are on their side, who they can count on, where the truth is coming out. Because if people are finding the truth, and the left is trying to shut us down, and some conservative politicians, Republicans, need to stand up now. Because if they don't, we're all going to be squashed out of existence. Since the election, my Facebook traffic has been significantly impacted. As our traffic continues to grow at Gateway Pundit, we notice that our Facebook traffic each month continues to go down. This wasn't just because of one algorithm or one change they made last week. This is because it's been happening, we've been targeted for the past year. Uh, we also noticed that, and I have a, a great reporter, Cassandra Fairbanks, who put up a story last week, and it was about how uh, Black Lives Matter was going to target the Super Bowl. And we put it up on Facebook, and so the other thing they're doing is they have fact checkers, right? And the fact checkers last week said that Cassandra's story was not good. It was not 
This is, this is going to be fake news, essentially is what they called it. And so they didn't let people see this story. Well, some of you may know, if you follow the conservative media, you know that on Super Bowl Sunday, Black Lives Matter did disrupt the Super Bowl. They shut down the train line going to the stadium. So we were right, and the fact checkers were wrong, and we have no recourse. If they block one of our stories, which happens to be the truth, uh, we have nowhere to go. Um, and uh, we don't have people to communicate with. We, we can't fight these decisions they make. We're finding also like with Google this year, they've done different things to crack down on our, our uh, uh, traffic. They, uh, uh, we have people writing us saying, hey, I used to find you on Google on the front page if I put in Gateway. Now you're way back on the fourth page. We found people who looked up Gateway Pundit for a month here or so. They were getting a little box that would pop up and say, here's just some disputed articles for Gateway Pundit. They did the same thing with Daily Caller and Breitbart. But uh, isn't it interesting, this didn't happen to any sites on the, on the left. So these are the sort of tricks that we're having to um, deal with. And uh, if we don't stand up, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have these people, uh, right now we have the left, they want to crack down on fake news. They're having hearings in Congress, they're having hearings in Europe to crack down on fake news. That means one thing, they wanna crack down on conservative news, because that's where it's gonna lay. And there's gonna be no voices out there, and America will be without our freedom of speech. This is, a, this is a catastrophe. This is a tragedy that this is happening in America. So I'm very pleased today to be with some great panelists who have their own story to tell, and uh, who have a lot of courage to come in here today. I had some people who were uh, invited, and uh, they uh, decided not to come, and that's fine. Um, but I had some, some really people of integrity stand up and say, I'll, I'll, I'll speak the truth today. So I really appreciate that. And uh, the next thing we were going to do is uh, our friend Michelle Malkin. She's been in the conservative movement for years. She's a leading voice. Um, she's very popular. If you ever go to a conference and Michelle is speaking and she's signing books, uh, she, there's a, a line of block long to see this woman. She's phenomenal, she's brilliant. And today she sent us in a video that I, I hope you will enjoy. And uh, so we're gonna cue that up. And it's Michelle Malkin uh, who uh, wanted to be here. She couldn't, she couldn't uh, schedule it. And so now she's uh, sent in a video.